Joy Behar is in a hot mess after she attacked Sarah Huckabee Sanders on TV. That girl is an amateur liar, spewed Bahar as she went on to attack the press secretary. Well, Joy Les didn't have to wait long before she got a nasty surprise from her employers at ABC. You don't want to miss this. Joy Behar left Sarah Sanders, right, photo credit, Ethan Miller, Getty Images, YouTube, screen grab. What most people don't know is ABC defines the view as a news program, and this seems crazy to those of us who know that it's a left-wing show for liberal gossip mongers. Does that mean Joy Less and the rest of the shrews are trusted news sources? Well, yes it does, for legal purposes. When Big Mouth Bahawa laid into Sarah Sanders on Thursday morning's show, little did she know that she would end her day in a lot of trouble. Bahar attacked Sanders over the left's obsession with star Stormy Daniels. According to Joy Lest, the press secretary is lying when she told reporters that the arbitration was won in the president's favor. Can I just say one thing about Huckabee Sanders? That girl is an amateur liar, Joy Bahar said as Meghan McCain protested, sick of Joy's ridiculous rants. Her boss is a professional. She's not a good liar is what you're saying. Whoopi Goldberg replied. She's not good enough of a liar. The harsh shouted. She went screaming with excitement, like out of the mouths of babes comes the truth, you know. It was almost like painful to that, making matters worse for Sarah Sanders is CNN's fake news reporter, Jim Acosta who alleged his sources told him that Trump was livid with Sanders over her answer about Stormy Daniels. From it Acosta, a source close to White House says Trump is upset with oppressor ex Sarah Sanders over her handling of Stormy Daniels' questions yesterday. POTUS is very unhappy, the source said. Sarah gave the Stormy Daniels storyline steroids yesterday, the source added, tweeted Acosta's best buddy at CNN David Wright. From it Acosta, a source close to White House says Trump is upset with oppressor ex Sarah Sanders over her handling of Stormy Daniels' questions yesterday. POTUS is very unhappy, the source said. Sarah gave the Stormy Daniels storyline steroids yesterday, the source added. David Wright, at David Wright. DNN March 8, 2018 We are calling BS on that, Acosta has an axe to grind with the press secretary. Sanders had just dropped a bomb on Acosta at Monday's presser where she was accompanied by two wheelchair-bound veterans. Later, the press secretary embarrassed Acosta so badly on Twitter, his unsourced story that Trump is angry with Sanders looks like CNN is living it up to its fake news nickname. Courage isn't taking a question from CNN, Jim. Courage is combat veteran sergeant. Peck and staff sergeant. Dwyer, the two heroes is the briefing. Courage isn't taking a question from CNN, Jim. Courage is combat veteran sergeant. Peck and staff sergeant. Dwyer, the two heroes at the briefing. Save her butt with the shareholders at the same time that she was slandering Sarah Sanders on TV. Can you imagine Joy's shock when she realized her head is on the chopping block? Joy had made horrendous remarks about Vice President Mike Pence and Christians, and the Media Research Center led by Brent Bozel targeted behind the view in a campaign to boycott their advertisers. After ABC got over 36,000 calls from Americans to cancel the show of Fire Bihar, Joy Less was put on notice. Fox News reports, ABC News, The View, star Joy Behar has reportedly apologized for recent comments that mocked Vice President Pence's Christian faith. Disney CEO Bob Igea said during a shareholder meeting that Bahar apologized for things she has said about Christians and the Trump administration. However, no one remembers the big apology. Then, the 75-year-old loudmouth goes off on Sarah Sanders, who is beloved by Americans across the country, on the same day ABC, Disney is trying to calm down the shareholders. Oh, she is really busted now. Conservative actor James Woods weighed in on Bahar, tweeting, So Disney made a corporate apology, on behalf of Joy Bahar to shareholders to protect its stock value. Meanwhile Ms. Bahar didn't apologize publicly to Vice President Pence at all. In fact she has contempt for him and all Christians. So Disney made a corporate apology, on behalf of Joy Bahar to shareholders to protect its stock value. Meanwhile Ms. Bahar didn't apologize publicly to Vice President Pence at all. In fact, she has contempt for him and all Christians.
https colon slash slash t dot co slash l n l eight c a d o five d james woods at real james woods march eighth twenty eighteen other americans are sick of bahana jumping on media research centers abc disney boycott and demanding bahar is fired patriots let's show at disney that a joy of bahar's fake apology through them is not acceptable coward them is not acceptable coward James Woods tweet is going viral with a ton of responses from patriots who are ready for Joy Less to say her final goodbyes. She is completely clueless when it comes to politics, she offers nothing but hate and lies when she opens her mouth. She's an aging celebrity who can't find a gig anywhere else. Time for ABC, Disney to wise up. This isn't going to blow over and she won't stop spewing her special brand of left-wing garbage. Time's up for the joyless wonder. Follow us on Facebook, Gap.